constant contact tutorial hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with constant contact where you can make email marketing easy so let's get started to get started simply enter your email address over here and once you do you're just going to click on get 14 days free to get started with their trial so from here you're going to have to set up your account you're going to have your password then you are going to be choosing a suitable password then your first name your last name or your organization's name and we're going to be using a different email to get started now once we do that the Mitch Maisel and once our sign up has been completed we can move towards our second step so we're just going to wait for our sign up to be completed and it is currently creating our account for our 14 day free trial on constant contact now from here we're going to have to complete our basic onboarding or you can just skip these questions it's not necessary these you know answers are really not going to make a primary difference in your dashboard or your use now this is what your constant contact dashboard is going to look like now Starting off on your left, you have your marketing channels, including multi-channel campaigns, emails, social posts, automations, and surveys. Below that, you have your audience growth metrics, such as your growth center, landing pages, lead magnet, sign-up forms, events, ads, and SEO. Below that, you have your contacts, so this includes segmentation, lists, tags. Then you have your reporting and then you have your personal brand to get started first off we're going to go into all contacts and we're going to start adding contacts if you already have a list of people then you can import that list you can simply go on ahead and go under the contact section click on the epilepsies on the top right and then you can click on view slash import contact so this is going to allow you to add more contacts starting off i'm just going to click on add contact and you guys can see again i can drag and drop a file whether it's xls csv txt or i can just copy and paste them or i can add manual contact by email addresses so i'm just going to add lily guides you at gmail Dot com and I'm just going to import this contact into my contacts and just like that our first contact has been added now when you're adding contacts you have to add them to some type of list so if you click on the list over here by default you will have a my contacts list I like to rename this list to all contacts like so from here you can start building different lists so you can build lists for different businesses or different ways that you've accumulated contacts However, segments are a different thing. Segmentation is based upon a specific type of metric. So whether or not a contact has engaged, whether they have somewhat engaged, whether they have spent this much money in your business, so on and so forth. So when you're building a segment, if you click on create segment over here, you're going to see the segmentation builder is different because you actually have to build criteria. Whereas your lists are just going to be built off of, you know, whoever you add and that is it. That's going to be a list. It's not going to be changing automatically so you can choose your uh, criteria starting off let's say it's going to be based upon engagement and their current engagement level is most engaged and then i can add a secondary criteria which might be say we have sms activity sms status is subscribed and I'm going to save this segment. So these people are actively interacting with my emails and they are also subscribed to my SMS subscription. And this is going to be a specific segment. Currently, we're not going to have any members in it, but when the statuses are going to be fulfilled, you're going to have your contacts added. Now, moving forward, the next step I like to do before I can start sending out emails is to build my brand. I like to go under the brand kit to start building my brand. This includes uploading your logo, colors, or images. You can also copy and paste the link for your website so it automatically uh, imports all the data that it needs. But I'm just going to upload a logo image that I want to be using for my brand. I'm just going to click on upload and currently we're going to browse our computer to upload our image. And I just have this basic logo that I want to be using. I'm going to click on done and we're going to be selecting this, click on insert and we're just going to add this as an insert after that we're gonna add our brand colors so we're gonna add some really basic colors and i'm gonna add a pastel pink as well then you can add images as well 
once I have added my contacts, started building lists and segments, and started my brand kit, I can go into tags. Tags just help you in defining a specific characteristic. If you want, you can add tags to filter out and organize your contacts and send out targeted campaigns based upon how they are organized. Now we can get started with sending out emails. Now, before you send out emails, obviously you need a way to accumulate those emails. So if you want to accumulate those emails, you're going to go into your audience growth and you can start with signup forms. Signup forms are the easiest way to be able to get more people to engage in your content by having them sign up for newsletters or exclusive discounts and more. You can click on create a form to create your form. You can choose if it's going to be a pop-up, flyout, banner, text to join, sign up landing page, or anything else. Let's say I want to build a separate landing page and we can build our landing page. I'm not going to be showing you guys step by step on how to build a landing page, but the basics just include designing your page as you would on any web builder. Typically, you have this type of drag and drop layout on other platforms like Wix or Squarespace and you can proceed with building the landing page and then just click on continue. We're going to be moving forward and going into actual email building. So we're going to go into emails on the left under marketing channels. Once we go into emails, we're going to click on create an email. Once we click on create a email, we're going to get started with either a template where we can personalize our template. Then we have industry based templates as well as fully built up templates. I personally really like these types of templates where they have a general layout that you can use and you can customize it. So you have coupon, card, calendar, basic note, announcement, so on and so forth. Now I want this to be a basic note and I'm going to click on select. And let's say I want to start building a thank you email for my customers or for people that have signed up. I'm going to use this and I am going to get started with building. On the top left, it's going to display the name. So we're going to click on this and this is going to be my thank you for sign up. And I'm just going to save this. From here, I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to click on replace and I want to be using my logo image here. So I'm going to insert that. Then after that, I'm going to resize this to make this shorter. Now I have my headline. So thank you for registration or thank you for joining our newsletter, joining our newsletter. And we can add our message here. So here you will find all the exclusive discounts like so and now if i want to remove the button i'm just going to click on this and click on delete and on the left let's say i want to add another section with a image so i am going to drag and drop this here and i can add the article or whatever i want once done i can click on continue i can even preview and test my email and then verify my email choose the physical address as well as uh, send out a test email and just like that you can get started with constant contact the best part is that it starts at $12 a month and goes up to $80 for their premium version with some amazing email marketing features. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.